Let's take a look at this problem. It is given that x plus 1 over x equals 6. Find the value of x cubed plus 1 over x cubed. Before we move on, don't forget to give a like, subscribe to my channel, and turn on post notifications. I remember that when I first solved this problem many many years ago, my first approach was actually to solve for x from this equation. But I quickly realized that it's actually a very stupid idea because if I try to solve for the exact value of x, then from this equation I'm going to get x squared plus 1 equals 6x. I'm multiplying both sides by x, and so I have a quadratic equation about x, and then I'm going to use the quadratic formula, which is x is equal to 6 plus or minus 6 squared minus 4 over 2, and that will give me 3 plus or minus 2 times square root of 2. But when I try to use either 3 plus 2 root 2 or 3 minus 2 root 2 into finding the value of x cubed, not saying about x cubed plus 1 over x cubed, but just x cubed is going to take me a lot of time. So it's of course a very um, stupid method. So I then try to not solve for x, erase everything, and try to simply bring the, the expression at the left hand side to the third power. So let's see what would happen if I do it this way. So from the fact that x plus 1 for x equals x, I'm going to take it to cubed. And so expanding, you will get x cubed plus 3 times x squared times 1 over x. This is actually from the binomial theorem. Or even if you do not know the binomial theorem, you can simply trying to do this by brute force, which is expand this product, and you still get the same thing. And then simplifying, you're going to get x cubed plus 3x plus 3 times 1 over x plus 1 over x cubed. Now, the yellow part will be the expression that we have to find our final answer while for the other parts they are also actually in terms of x plus 1 for x so if I move these two terms to the left then you will see that actually x cubed plus 1 over x cubed is equal to x plus 1 over x all cubed minus three times the same expression. And so because x plus one over x is equal to six, so then I can just replace these expressions by x six cubed minus three times six. So then I do not need to solve for the exact value of x and I can manage to compute the value of x cubed plus 1 over x cubed. So then the final answer is 198. So this is the first method that I found successful. There is actually another method, which is to try to compute this expression using similar methods. So. So from this, I can expand x plus 1 over x all squared, and that will give me x squared plus 2 plus 1 over x squared. So our final answer will be much simpler, which is simply 6 squared minus 2, and that will give me 34. Now from this, I can trying to find x cubed plus 1 over x cubed because I can try to multiply the square expression by x plus 1 over x and that is x cubed 
plus x plus 1 of x plus 1 of x cubed. And so therefore, our required expression is actually equal to 34 times 6 minus 6. And that will give me 198. So this is the second method. There are actually many methods that you can try. For example, even you can try um, using the identity of sum of cubes or the two methods that I mentioned. If you do not like to expand um, all cubes of, an, of some expressions, then you may consider the second or even using the identity. So after this, in this video, I'm going to share some of my thoughts on how do we compute expressions on higher powers of x. Some of you may find finding x squared plus 1 over x squared or x cubed 1 over x cubed very easy. So this part of this video is just to share my thoughts on how do we find the, the expressions of higher powers of x. Like if we are finding the values of x to the 5 plus 1 over x to the 5 or even x to the power 7 plus 1 over x to the power 7. So one of the ways that I would try is that given that I have the square one is equal to 34 while the cube one is equal to 198 I can try to find expressions of higher powers building from these two expressions so for example if I want to find x to the 4 plus 1 over x to the 4 I can do that by squaring the square expression and so I can quickly see that it's 34 squared minus 2 and by computing you'll get 1154 or if you would like to find the value of x to the power 7 plus 1 over x to the power 7. The second idea that I have is to try to multiply two different expressions of two different powers. Say for this, because I noticed that I can try to multiply x cubed times 1 over x cubed and x to the 4 plus 1 over x to the 4. Of course, they are not equal. Actually, I should say that this product is equal to the expression that I want to find plus an extra x plus 1 over x. So therefore, I can say that if I want the value on the seventh powers, then it's actually 198 times 1154 minus 6. So of course, if you want to compute that by hand, you will get 2,308 and then multiply this number by 100 minus 2,308 and so you will get 2,2,8,4,9,2 so then our final answer is actually 2,2,8,4,8,6 so this is how you find the values of expressions of higher powers, feel free to um, put down your thoughts in the comments as well.